In this video I'm going to do some enlargements. An enlargement has a center and a scale factor. If we consider this triangle R and we go and say we're going to have an enlargement with this point here being the center, that point being 1, 1, then the scale factor goes and describes how much bigger that shape R is going to get and how much further away it's going to be from the center. The question we're going to do says on the grid enlarge triangle R with a scale factor 3 and a center 1 1. So the scale factor is 3. That's the center 1 1. Scale factor of 3 means that every point of this triangle is going to be 3 times further away from the center and every side of the triangle is going to be three times as long. Let's start off with that first one. Everything is going to be three times further from the centre. So at the moment, if we take this point here, that point from the centre of enlargement, you go two across and one up. So after the enlargement, you're going to do that three times. So it's two across and one up, two across, one up, two across and one up. So that's that first point there. If we take this second point, it's one, two, three, four across and one up. And with a scale of factor of three, we're going to do that three times, starting at the center. So three times we're doing four across and one up, four across and one up, four across and one up. That's the second point. And the third point is here. And from the centre, that is two across and two up. So with a scale factor of three, we're going to do that three times. So it's going to be two across and two up, two across and two up, two across and two up. It takes us to there. Now we've got the three corners of our triangle and we can just line them in. And what you'll notice is not only have we moved all the corners three times further away, but all the sides are three times as long. The question did ask us to label a new triangle is T, so I'll write a T in the middle of that. Part B of this question says, on the grid, enlarge triangle S with a scale factor of 2 and a center 18, 2. So if we take that center 18, 2, that's 18, 2, so that's the center, and we're going to enlarge triangle S with a scale factor of 2, meaning everything is twice as far away from the centre as it was to start with, and all the lengths are going to be twice as big. Let's start by taking this corner here of the triangle, and if we consider there's the centre at the moment, this corner, we go left 2 and up 2 to get there. Now with a scale factor of 2, we're going to enlarge it by doing that twice. So we go left 2, up 2, and left 2, and up 2 again. So that is the corner of the enlargement. And I could go and say, let's take this one here, that point. Let's see where that is from the centre. And it's 3 to the left and 2 up. So with a scale factor of 2, I'm going to do that twice. So it's 3 to the left, 2 up, 3 to the left, and 2 up. But I'm not going to keep on doing that because I know I can get the enlargement by moving all the points twice as far um, away from the centre. But I also know the enlarged shape is going to have sides which are twice as long as the original. So now I've found the starting corner, I can just draw my shape from there and make all the sides twice as long. So in the original shape it was one across, so in the enlarged shape it's going to be two across.
In the original shape it goes two up, so with a scale factor of two, the enlarged shape it's going to go four up. And the diagonal I don't have to worry about because if I've got two sides of a triangle, the third one is just joining the ends together. And so that's my enlarged shape there and it tells me to label it U. Part C of the question asks me to enlarge the same triangle with the same scale factor of 2, but this time we're using the centre 14, 3. So the centre of 14, 3, that's the centre enlargement. It's triangle S, so this time um, if we go and take this same point on the original triangle to see where it's going to end up with the enlargement, um, scale factor of 2, it was 2 to the right and 1 up, so the enlarged shape is going to do that twice, 2 to the right, 1 up, 2 to the right, 1 up. So that's the equivalent corner of the enlarged shape. Now I can draw in the shape knowing that it's going to have the corner there and all the sides are going to be twice as long. So this side here, which was 1, is now going to be 2. And this side here, which was 2, is now going to be 4. And then once I've got those two sides, I can just join the ends to get my diagonal. And that it tells me to label it as V. Now you notice that um, triangles U and V are both the same size because they're both enlargements with a scale factor 2. So they're both doubled the size of the original triangle. They are in different positions on the page though because the centres of the enlargements are different. The last part of this question says describe fully the single transformation which maps triangle U onto triangle V. So let's have a look at U and V. Triangle U onto triangle V. So if we look at that, those triangles are exactly the same size, so it's not an enlargement. There's not a reflection, not a rotation, it's actually a translation. And it's a translation, um, so that means I've got to give the vector by which it's translated by. So if I take one point on U, which I'll take this one, and the equivalent point on V, there, the translation moves it one down and one, two, three, four across, four to the right. So the vector for that translation is going to be um, going x first, it's going to be four, and then the one down is going to be minus one. So if I fill that in, A single transformation mapping triangle U onto triangle V is a translation for one mark and by vector bracket 4 minus 1 will give me my second mark. Looking at a couple of the parts of the next question, part A says on the grid enlarge triangle F with a scale factor of 2 and center minus 10, 2. So that is F and the center is minus 10, 2. So this is the center and it's going to be F. So it's a scale factor of 2, everything is twice as far. So to get to this point here on the original we moved 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 squares along and no squares up or down. So with the enlargement we're going to do that twice. So it's 7 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 again. So that is the equivalent corners and now I've got one corner I can just line the other shape by doubling all the sides. So F is originally 2 
across there so the enlarged shape will be four across because the scale factor is two so it doubles it and the height of it is two there so the height of the enlarged shape will be two times two which is four I've got those two I can just join in the diagonal and as the question says label it as H I'm skipping a couple of parts and moving on to part E. That's because it tells me to enlarge triangle G with a scale factor of half. This means everything is going to be half the distance um, from the centre than it was. And everything's going to be half the size. Um, so in fact, it's a reduction rather than an enlargement. So I'm doing that. Centre is 9-11 and everything is half. So... 9-11 is, there is 9-11, that's the centre. And it's triangle G, so if I go and take this point here, for example, and at the moment it goes 1, 2, 3, 4 to the left and 2 down. But the scale factor is a half, so we're going to go with that um, half of that to go and find the position of the final shape. So half of 4 is 2. And half of that two down is one. So I go two across and one down. That is the equivalent corner of my finishing shape. And now since the scale factors are half, I can just take the original sides and halve them. So here we had side which was length two. It's now going to be half of that. So that's just going to be a one. And here my original shape was length four going across. So half of that is going to be two and line it in and label it as K.